Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you today. We're playing some uh, some draft champions. I'm going with the Denver Broncos playbook, so the plays you'll see in today's video will be out of that. That's one of my more favorite books. Uh, but today's video is more about um, the things that are wrong with Madden 20 that they really need to fix before they get to Madden 21. Uh, the reason I'm playing Draft Champions, first of all, is because team building is just pointless. I'm just to the point, I have a 95 overall team, and I'm to the point where I just don't see the value in continuing any further. Mostly because EA just doesn't support the players that they already put out. Like, if I wanted to upgrade my Deion Sanders, how long do I have to wait to get a new Deion Sanders card? How long do I have to wait to get a new Randy Moss card? Like, they keep putting out new content. So it's to the point where you basically have to break down the player that you have and then shift it around. I mean, it's just nonsense. I'm just tired of it. So it's to the point where if you're going to give us free power-up cards for like 96s and 97 overalls and stuff like that, but you don't give us the cards we want to actually upgrade the players that we've had all year that we like, I just don't understand what the value is in that. And it's just like I said, it's just like an endless, endless arm race that they just, they're doing it on purpose. They want you to move around. They want you to break down players and lose half your training points and stuff like that. It's just total nonsense. Which brings up my next point. Why do you have to lose half of your training points every time you break down a card? If you break down an X-Factor ability, you only lose like 80, which is like, you know, that's way more agreeable to the point where you could constantly shift and change your team. But when you lose half and there's so many different levels to it, it just doesn't make sense. So it's to the point where your team becomes stagnant because you don't want to break down and lose all your training points. Same thing with 10% off every time you buy and sell stuff on the market. I mean, take that stuff away. I don't understand why they have to constantly find a way to, to cheat you out of coins and training points when you just want to change your roster. I worked hard for these coins and training points. Let me have them. You know what I mean? Not to mention a lot of people spend real money to buy packs that get horrible odds to get what they want and then you're going to tax 10% when they sell the cards that they don't want. I mean, what kind of shit is that? You're, you're spending real money and they're taxing 10% off of your real money when you actually sell the cards that you don't want. I mean, it's just total crap. I'm saying all this stuff in the beginning because probably none of it will change. I mean, these are issues that have been issues for a while. Um, number one, I think let us buy coins. You know what I mean? Let's buy coins like they let us buy VC and in, uh, in, in NBA. That'd be, you know, something. Like I said, they'll never change that though. So let's just get this stuff out of the way. And then last but not least, I feel like this game has gotten buggier throughout the year. This is a simple draft champion. This is the first draft champions I've played in a while. And the game basically just glitched out on me to the point where it wouldn't even let me finish the draft. I had to restart the entire game. I've been noticing stuff like this getting more consistent throughout the year. You're seeing weird animations. You're seeing players warp to their spot and warp to this. And You know what I mean? It's like stuff like that. It's just been getting worse throughout the year. The game is just totally buggy. So reset the game. My team is close to a 90 overall. Um, I, you know, I like this game mode. Number one, teams are a lot more fair. There's no real advantages to be had. You don't have to buy packs. You just draft the team and go. I mean, it's, more people should play this. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, um, number one, RPOs. Why can't they allow you? They kind of half-assed RPOs. Why can't they allow you to make adjustments? Like, if I wanted to flip that run play to the other side, won't let me do it, which is totally stupid. Um, the other adjustments they took away, they took away the ability to just call a simple slant route for a tight end. That was always a staple for most offenses here. All you can do is, is call a drag or or an in route that didn't really cause me the interception there but still why did they have to take away the slant option audible hot route for tight ends now they you have to have an x factor for it like i said this game's better without x factors they had to basically take stuff away so they can repackage it as an x factor it's totally stupid i would also like to see them take away this automatic hurry up offense crap they have you can see right here i'm just trying to set up my defense and i get stuck on vita vey out where i have to use it throughout the play i mean obviously i'm not going to make a lot of user plays with a 60 speed defensive tackle this game is pretty much set up that you have a hurry up offense pretty much every single play uh, to the point where it's just a huge disadvantage to play defense at all. You have no time to make adjustments. A lot of these things were added to Madden this year and they kind of suck. Something they took away, they had a uh, function where if you came out and all out cornerbacks, your team would get bulldozed. They must have took that away because now you can run a quarterback defense the entire game and it's no big deal. They need to take that away. They also need to reduce or just all out eliminate the predetermined animations that we all know and love. As you can see right here, I mean, I timed the snap, but it basically gets me a predetermined looping uh, attempt to block the kick that you know I really didn't earn as you can see right here they're gifting me a touchdown you, we see this all the time where essentially you just get these 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 predetermined outcomes and it doesn't make the game fun uh, another one is I wish they would um, right here I, I have my defense is on auto flip which I don't have set in my regular settings but since I changed game modes I guess it didn't carry over why can't they do something where your preferences don't carry over 
I'm talking coaching adjustments. I'm talking plays that you put in your audibles, stuff like that should be there game to game because a lot of people don't necessarily change what they do. So let that carry over. Another gameplay mechanic needs to be toned down is QB Contain. That is completely OP. I mean, you can see, you're going to see through a lot of times in this game. I use QB Contain pretty much every blitz because it's so broken. All our blitz is a little too OP as well. As you can see right here, I mean, I just I just swarm him with cornerbacks once again and get the safety. Um, he's just waiting to quit now. That's another thing. I don't know. They need to add some sort of penalty for people that quit in, in the middle of games. Don't get me wrong. I want people to quit so I can get quicker wins. And you know what I mean? I don't want to waste my time. But at the same time, there should be some sort of penalty for people that quit all the damn time. Uh, toss plays got toned down seriously this year. Um, they basically took it away once again for an X Factor to add pin and pull guru. I feel like it's a little bit better now, but they really need to fix that. Uh, they also need to fix the servers because the servers suck. I mean, there's just lag after game after game after game. There's so much lag in this game. It's unreal. Um, if you haven't noticed, I pretty much am giving a new complaint pretty much every play, and that's a problem. You know what I mean? Like, how can you, how can you have a complaint about about every single play and then still call this a good game i mean i won the first game i have no reason to complain about that but there's things to complain about pretty much every single play in this game which is not a, that means it's not a good game aggressive catch is totally worthless I mean, if you watch nfl games receivers come down with these type of balls i got inside position he just totally gets knocked like a, like a bitch and just drops it it's a complete joke uh cloud zones cloud zones are pretty op since the latest patch um you know to me they cover way too much now which is why if you watch me on defense i pretty much run cover too i run either man blitz or cover to the entire game like i said right here here i accidentally make a mistake in hard flat though that's the only scenario where you're not going to get good coverage is if you hard flat but soft squat and cloud flats they just cover the whole field it feels like uh next play Where's the drop back penalty? That's another feature that they added last year that they took away. Um, I'm dropping back 15 yards here to complete a pass. I mean, that was something that, you know, to me makes sense. I didn't have any drop back penalty there at all. Probably should have. Um, and like I said, once again, aggressive catch. It just totally sucks. The catching animations are just really bad. That's a play, like I said, that just reminds me of Alshon Jeffries catching the Super Bowl against the Patriots. He made a play just like that. But you really don't get that in this game. You, never, you rarely ever get that in this game. So it is what it is. Uh, moving on, he's back. Back in cover two, like I said, cover two is one of the better plays. There are ways to beat cover two, but there's not a ton. I'm shooting for that same gap outside. This particular play, it works out, but you can see how tight that window was as I just get around the corner and take it to the house. So like I said, it's still pretty OP. As you can see right here, I'm using cover two once again. I only really switch between cover two and man blitzes based off of the fact um, that that's where it's at. And you can see right now the same things. I'm using the same things over and over. QB contain once again, making a play, making, you know, I'm, you're going to see the same things coming up over and over and over where that, that are making the plays. Gap stacking is another thing that should, you know, the offensive line should be a little bit smarter uh, to pick up when you're gap stacking, where you're just trying to get a free defender like that. You see right there. I don't know how they could fix that, but I gap stack pretty much just about every play because you have a better chance of getting a free guy out off the block. And then you can see right here, once again, we get lag. My opponent gets lag in a critical situation on a fourth and 14 to the point where it basically is going to cost him the game. So now I'm on the one yard line. I don't really have any stretch plays because they're just not in this formation that I can that I can basically adjust them, which I mentioned earlier, but I'd like to see them fix, you know, basically unbreak the QB sneak. That would have been a perfect opportunity in the one yard line, but it's so horrible now. It's just not even worth it. As you can see right here, we basically go three downs and we got to kick a field goal. I don't get kick meter lag on this particular play, but it's happened enough that I definitely want to mention it. That's something that I don't know why you get kick meter lag so often in this game. Uh, fixed running back blocking, you can see right there, my dude just gets right around the running back. You can see right here, once again, the QB contain comes around again, unblocked by the running back one more time as he totally whiffs this next play he's going to block seven to try to stop a five-man block and they need a fixed blocking period based off of the fact that you shouldn't have to have a two-man advantage in a blocking scheme to make a play he does it again once once he, again right here and you can see you know now he's having a little bit of success but he has three guys on routes where i have six guys in coverage i mean how often is that going to work out when you have to do that when you have to be that dramatic to try to stop a pretty simple to set up uh blitz you know what i mean it's a five-man blitz and it's getting through to the fact to the point where he just has no chance you can see here once again qb contain one more time totally overpowered a lot of this is just the same stuff repeated that are really breaking this game because they're so overpowered that people just use them over and over and over gap stacking qb containing cover too these are the things that people complain about they're trying to change this game by adding a lockout option 
where in X Madden, where if you call a play too many times, it'll lock out. To me, that's totally stupid. If you want to change the game, just fix the game. You know what I mean? You have these things that are going to break the game regardless. I could run these exact same uh, QB contains all you know wherever I want to. You know what I mean? Like I can run them at any play. If QB contains still broken, it's still going to have success. I could call cover two if the coverage is overpowered. It's still going to have success. If I call cover two, whether I call in this formation, that formation, it's not going to change the fact that cover two is still really overpowered and QB contains is really overpowered and gap stacking is really overpowered and these things are not going to go away based off of the fact that you're locking out an individual play without actually fixing the game so that's it that's the vid uh, my opponent's just going to quit if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below